two young girls are still in the hospital tonight in intensive care after they were struck by a van that jumped a curb in New Square. Tonight, police in Rockland County are investigating just how that driver lost control running over the five young children. News 12's Robert Wolf has an update. Police have now released the names of the children that were struck by this van here on Bush Lane in New Square Monday afternoon. Two sisters, nine-year-old Yedis Rolwicki and seven-year-old Bracco Rolwicki, nine-year-old Tranny Circus and her sister Chidal Circus, and nine-year-old Bruca Holzer. All five were standing on the sidewalk when they were struck. The van continued until it came to rest on this orange and Rockland utility box. The driver, 42-year-old Rashid Alasri of Spring Valley, is not facing criminal charges so far and was not hurt. Seven-year-old Bracco was the most seriously hurt. She suffered a broken leg and collarbone. Chidal Circus suffered a head injury and remains at Westchester Medical Center in the pediatric ICU for observation. Bracca underwent surgery Tuesday for her injuries. Both are expected to make full recoveries. Ramapo Police Tell News 12 that the other three girls have been released from the hospital. Attention now turns to the driver of the van who works here at Five Star Home Medical Supplies in Muncie. The owner did not want to speak on camera saying the accident is under investigation, but he does say they're grateful the girls will recover. Police tell News 12 Alasri has a clean driving record and that he is heartbroken over what happened. For the moment, it appears to be an accident. Lieutenant Mark Emma of the Ramapo Police Department says they'll be looking at whether he was distracted or the van had a mechanical malfunction. He himself doesn't understand even what happened. Uh, he doesn't understand how he lost control of the vehicle. He knows that he did, but he just doesn't, can't piece together why it happened. The people that witnessed this accident and the ones who responded to it say it's nothing less than a miracle that these five girls survived. We're in News Square, Robert Wolf, News 12. All right, Robert, thank you. Well, depending on the results of that investigation, we're told the driver could face some traffic tickets.